Hey there, everybody. This is John the Sea Monkey Dude here. And today, we're going to talk about algae. Doesn't that sound fun? So, believe it or not, I get asked about algae more than uh, just about any other sea monkey topic. And we're not going to go through every single one of my sea monkey tanks right now because I've got a lot going. I've got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like 12 or so going right now. Um, most of them have really good algae growth. And I think a lot of you guys have seen pictures and videos of my tanks. And that's probably why I get messages. How do you get so much algae growth? Well, let's talk about it. All right. Here's some of the tanks we've got right now. We've got this really cool yellow one looks like mountain dew we've got the japanese magic castle look at the algae growing on that castle that looks sweet there's that super set from australia which is basically a fish bowl but look we've got look at the algae down at the bottom down there that looks pretty cool algae growing up top there sorry it's not focusing i love how that ship looks back there with algae growing on it the sea monkeys love it and they eat it and there's the Sea Monkeys Executive Super Size Suite. Again, we got algae growing around the rim, you know, a little bit above the water line right there. I need to top this off and down at the bottom. And then this is a DIY one, uh, do it yourself in a beer growler. And we've got algae growing in there. Okay, here's the secret to algae. Keep it warm. Uh, I keep this room warmer than I typically like. My wife hates it. She walks in here and gets pissed off because it's too warm. So I've got a little space heater in here. There it is. And I keep that at 74 degrees. Now that's not that warm. Uh, it's warmer than I typically like it and it's warmer than the rest of my house. Uh, but that's the first thing we do. Also, if you'll notice, all of these tanks that are sitting here are on this big black mat, right? Uh, that's a heated mat. There's a thermostat up there and the little probe that goes, uh, I've got it actually underneath this tank. And that sh uh, allows it to heat up to a certain temperature. And so that'll heat it a little bit more, get these you know, nice and warm. You know, it looks like it's 95 degrees. That is not the water temperature though. That's what the mat's heating to. And that heat has to go through the mat, through the plastic or glass containers and into the water. So I'm not boiling these guys, don't worry. You know, it's at a safe temperature. So heat is the first thing. And then light. Light helps tremendously. Probably more so than the heat, honestly. Um, I've used plant grow lights in the past and they work really, really well. But really any LED lights work well. So I've got these Philips Hue LED light strips sort of behind these tanks here, see that? They just go right along my wall and they sort of serve a dual purpose. It illuminates the, well, multiple, more than two purposes. It illuminates the tanks from behind, which is really nice. Makes it pretty easy to see the sea monkeys. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Look at them swimming around. Uh, and then again, helps with the algae growth, which I mentioned. It helps a whole lot. LED lights work really, really well. And uh, this desk that these sea monkeys are sitting on, this is the desk where I sit and work. And I'm on video calls for a good amount of my work. And so those lights actually are behind my laptop lids. You can't see them on camera, but they illuminate me when I'm on video calls. So they serve a lot of purposes. And I like Philips Hue brand. They work really well. It works well with Google Assistant. So you can, you know, say, hey, Google, turn off the lights in the Pez room. There we go. So that's pretty cool, right? And then we can turn them back on. Um, hey Google, turn on the lights in the Pez room. Turn the lights in the Pez room fuchsia. Ooh, that looks cool. Thank you. No problem. So I've heard that plant grow lights uh, work best when they're blue and purple. 
a lot of the ones you buy are like blue and purple or pink, you know, and blue, stuff like that. I don't know how much accuracy there is to that. Uh, I usually keep these just on regular white light and they, uh, the algae grows really well. Sometimes it's fun to play around with the colors though. But really, that's it. Um, I aerate the tanks. I don't know if that really helps with algae growth or not. It's good for the pets though. But lots of light, lots of heat, and the algae grows. Now once it starts growing, it grows really, really good, at least for me. And oh, I love that castle. It looks, or not the castle, that, that shipwreck. That looks sweet. But yeah, once it grows, it starts growing and growing and growing. And usually, you know, I don't have an issue with it. Now, when I start a new tank, sometimes it does take, you know, a couple months for the algae to start growing in there. So if that's happening to you, don't be surprised. It might take a little while for it to start, and that's okay. But once you've got it growing, it should grow pretty well. Should we try messing with the colors? I wasn't planning on doing that in this video, but it's sort of fun. Hey Google, turn the lights in the Pez room aqua. Thank you. Happy to help. That looks pretty cool. Too bad I'm not live. I can't take color requests. How about we do uh, dark green and then we'll be good. Hey Google, turn the lights in the Pez room dark green. Thanks. That didn't change as much. Hey Google, set the lights in the Pez room to daylight. There we go. So again, if you want to grow algae for your sea monkeys, which is very beneficial, I know people debate whether it looks good or not. Personally, I don't like the way it looks. Sometimes it looks sort of cool, like on that castle there. But uh, I'd rather have a clean-looking tank if I was going just for aesthetics here. But it's good for the sea monkeys. They eat it. It helps aerate the water. It's all good, right? So, aside from how it looks, right? So, if you want to grow algae for your sea monkeys, heat, light, and really that's it. Just keep at it. Uh, I've got these lights on for probably... 16 hours a day, maybe 14 or 15 hours a day. And then I turn them off when I'm sleeping. You know, that, that's about it. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I was prompted to do this because someone did text me about algae today. And it happens pretty frequently. So hopefully you found it helpful. I hope you guys have a great evening. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to check out uh, my content and other social channels. You're watching this on YouTube, but I'm also on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook now. Just look up Sea Monkey Dude on Facebook and you can follow my page. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great night. Bye-bye.